The Rugged Ridge 8,500 pound heavy duty winch is for those of you that have a 1987 and up Wrangler that are looking for an inexpensive and fairly basic winch for your Jeep that's still going to get the job done. These days there are winches with a lot of different features. This is going to be more of a no frills option, but it's also going to save you some money over those other ones. So if that's what you're looking for, I think you've found it right here. Rugged Ridge also has their, um, their new Gen 2 line of winches that are going to be a waterproof solenoid box. Again, a lot of other features, even from Rugged Ridge you can find, but those are gonna be more expensive. So again, a little more basic and a little bit less expensive. This is going to be a very easy installation for anybody to do. If you have a winch ready bumper or a winch plate on your Jeep, you're gonna be able to bolt this right down. Definitely a one out of three wrench installation, probably around an hour or so to get this wired up and bolted up, but we'll talk more about that installation in just a second. So if you're looking for a winch for doing self recoveries. You are out there on the trail, you should never go out by yourself, but even if you have a buddy and you just want a winch to make it easier for you to recover uh, by attaching to a tree or your buddy's vehicle or help pull your buddy out when he gets high centered or buried up to the axles in mud, whatever the case may be, uh, there are a lot of different uses for a self-recovery winch like this. And if you're looking for one, there are a couple different decisions to make. One is going to be the pulling capacity. This is an 8,500 pound winch. Now the pulling capacity of your winch should be roughly 1.5 times the loaded trail weight of your Jeep. So if you're talking about a heavy four-door JK that you get buried all the way up to the frame in mud all the time, you're probably gonna wanna go with something a little bit beefier. But if you have a light TJ, then 8,500 pounds is going to be more than enough for you. The other decision you'll have to make is what type of cable you want on it, what type of rope. This comes with a steel cable, and that's going to be your basic, that's what winches have come with for a very, very long time. These are fairly maintenance free. Uh, they're just going to work time in and time out. Some winches have gone up to a synthetic line. That synthetic line is going to be a little bit more expensive up front, requires more maintenance, and requires being uh, swapped out more often. However, what the synthetic line is gonna do for you is while it still stretches like the steel cable does under load, it doesn't store that energy, and if it were to break, it falls harmlessly to the ground. This steel cable, if it snaps, it is going to move. It can maybe cause some additional damage, or if you're standing in the wrong spot, it can cause an injury. So you do have to be a little bit more careful with the steel, but that's not to say there's anything wrong with it. it saves you some money, is more maintenance free, and as long as you take the proper precautions, it's just fine, people have been using steel for years. So if you're looking for an 8,500 pound winch, that's gonna be more than enough for your vehicle. You want the steel line for the maintenance free factor and to keep costs down. I think that this is gonna be a really nice, inexpensive option. Winches are going to really be a couple of different pieces that are working together. Here you have the winch body and then you have the solenoid pack. The solenoid pack is what's going to take the power from the battery and depending on what setting you have um, here, either in or out on the remote is going to power the proper side of the motor here in the actual winch body. This is going to be a series wound um, solenoid box. You're going to have a planetary gear set in the winch body itself. As with most winches, you're gonna have a clutch here so that you can engage and disengage, so you can free spool and just pull line out if you need to. Um, so it's gonna have all of those more basic features for your winch. What this isn't going to have is spots to mount additional uh, lights, it's not going to be a waterproof solenoid box, it's not going to have a uh, wireless remote for it, it's not going to have what some of those top of the top of the line winches have like a air compressor built into it or any of those other features. Like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a more basic winch that's just going to get the job done and it's going to be less expensive than a lot of the other options. If you want more frills, you want more options, we have those as well. Even from Rugged Ridge, we have those, but if you want something simple and to save some money, I think you're looking at the right winch. As for the installation, like I said before, you are going to need a winch ready bumper or a winch plate on your bumper. But if you have that, this is a one out of three wrench, one hour installation. These winches for the most part have a body that is small enough to fit in or on almost any winch ready bumper or winch plate. And the uh, bolt pattern here for the feet is going to be pretty standard as well. You're gonna be able to first mount your fair lead uh, it's just a little harder to get to the bolts once the winch itself is mounted. So mount your fair lead. You can then mount the solenoid box right on, on top of the winch. You'll have a couple of connections to make between the solenoid box and the winch itself. Then you can get your winch bolted down and finally run your two longer cables back to your battery. You can run those through the grill, under the grill, uh, along the fender, however you need to, to get to the battery to connect to the positive and the negative terminals. 
After that, in order to use the winch, you really just plug your remote into the solenoid box. You're gonna have two buttons on the top, one for in, one for out, and you're ready to winch. So I mentioned before, this is going to be a less expensive winch than some of the others out there that have a lot more features. This comes in at right around $300, and that is really par for the course for a winch of this pulling capacity with a steel cable, not synthetic line, and none of those other features that we talked about, none of those other add-ons that we, that we had mentioned. So if you want something pretty basic, I do think that this is going to be a quality option, and I think $300 is gonna be a fair price. So if you're looking for a simple and inexpensive winch, I definitely recommend taking a look at this one from Rugged Ridge, and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.